Welcome to Alul. Andrina and I are here in the garden in Portland. Diane is in our apartment in Siena in Italy. And we would like to talk about the shofar a little bit. The shofar is a very ancient instrument. Uh, it's mentioned in the Torah very specifically. Uh, we were uh, herding people at the time that the shofar came into early use. And so it was just raw material lying around, both because of it was connected to animal sacrifice, that that was how we addressed the divine was by killing herd animals and then using the horns, which gosh, there must have been piles of them around all the time. Uh, it, so it's a very democratic instrument. It's just presumed everybody has one. There was, it's also described as part of the, uh, the regalia of the temple. Uh, there were two silver trumpets called Hutzet Throat that were made. Uh, and the calls are described that are played on the Hutzet Throat. They are the, the, uh, the Tekiah and the Truah. Shvarim isn't mentioned to my knowledge in the Torah. But uh, what makes a shofar kosher is that there are, enough. as usual, there are a number of rules. It needs to come from a kosher animal, which is to say an animal that chews its cud and that has a cloven hoof. But, uh, but we don't use cow's horns because of the golden calf. That just is, is not considered tasteful. We don't do it at all. Um, but goats and sheep were the main animals they had around. In theory, you could also use the antlers of a deer or a moose, but they're not hollow. Uh, the advantage of using an antler is that you don't have to kill the animal to take it. So for people who are vegetarians, you could conceivably drill through a, a deer antler. Very complicated. Having tried to, deer, to drill through some relatively straight horns, not, it's not easy. Um, but there's a, it's very popular to use a number of species of African antelope, which also chew their cud and have a cloven hoof, uh, and members of the same family, uh, the family bovidae. So uh, now the, the ram's horn is, is most typical, and that's what we normally see. Uh, it's very popular uh, it, among first the Yemenites, but now a lot of other people are using the kudu, uh, which is a very, the second largest African antelope. It has this enormous corkscrew horn. Uh, this one has incised carvings on it, which does not make it not kosher. You can carve things on it, but you can't add things to it. So you can't add like a silver binding. It won't, if you can, but it won't be kosher. You definitely can't add a mouthpiece. That's one thing that's very specific. You can't like take a trumpet mouthpiece, slip it into a horn. You have to use a mouthpiece that is intrinsic to the animal. Um, I also, the one I've been playing this year, which I really love, is a Kem's book, which is a South African antelope, uh, similar to an oryx, has this long straight horn. And uh, I'd always wanted an oryx horn and uh, one of the many treasures that David brought back from Africa. And then what animal is that? I don't know. Do some, even kind know? Of, some kind of animal. It's, a, it's an antelope. It could be a... It, it, uh, Another African animal that David brought back from South it, Africa. It could be wildebeest. I'm really not sure. Um, anyway, uh, so we have a number of them and we're going to use them now to play some shofar call. Oh, wait, but the animal does not have to be killed in a kosher fashion. The animal needs to be kosher, but it doesn't have to be slaughtered by a shochet. So you can get one in from Africa with where presumably the, the uh, killer of the animal was not Jewish and it's still cool. That's good to know. Tikiya. Shvarim. Trua. Some of them are easier to play than others. I w I'm just thinking about kosher animals. Would you make it out of us? Uh, a narwhal? No, a narwhal is not kosher. No, because it's. It has a tusk, but a fish, I'm trying to think about all, what horned fish there are. Okay, anyway, just explanations. Well, no, it, I think it does, because you can't like make one out of a leg bone or something. Oh, that would not be a shofar, though you could certainly. I mean, one could technically make a bone trumpet, but that would not be a shofar. Okay. Yeah, no, it's a good question. <laughs> Happy Elul. Happy Elul. See you tomorrow. <laughs>